I'm Sam Slyer. I'm Bobby Yersovich. And I'm Quinn Jurek. This is our Opti 380A final project, the polarization interferometer. <laughs> for our final project, we built a polarization interferometer for detecting defects in a spherical mirror. The polarization interferometer is based on the Twyman Green, which uses a collimated light source, in our case, a 632.8 nanometer Heaney laser. Interferometry is the process by which electromagnetic waves are superimposed, creating patterns of constructive and destructive interference that can be used to obtain characteristic information about a given optical component or optical system. The polarization of an electromagnetic wave is the direction that its electric field component oscillates. In order to observe the surface quality of the spherical mirror, we need a spherical wavefront that matches the curvature of the mirror. To achieve this, we placed a 40x microscope objective in the beam, which caused the beam to converge. We then aligned our spherical mirror so that its center of curvature coincided with the point of focus of our beam. At this position, the wavefront is tangential to the mirror at every point. It then reflects back on itself and is recombined by the objective, giving it a planar wavefront. This beam and the beam from the reference are then recombined in the beam splitter. When the waves are in phase, we get an interference pattern. Deviations from perfectly straight fringes indicate locations on the sample mirror where the expanding wavefront was not tangential. Because the arm with the sample mirror experiences greater loss than the arm with the reference mirror, we want the sample arm to have an initially higher intensity beam. We achieve this by using a half wave plate to rotate the polarization coming out of the laser so that it is approximately 70% P polarized. An ideal polarizing beam splitter passes 100% P light and reflects 100% S light, so 70% of our laser's intensity is passed to our sample arm. When the beams recombine, they will have comparable intensities which give superior contrast, making small defects more visible. We need quarter wave plates at 45 degrees with respect to each linear polarization to create circularly polarized light. When the circularly polarized light reflects off the mirrors, they reverse handedness. When the opposite handed light passes back through the quarter wave plates, they are converted back to the linear polarization that is orthogonal to the incoming beam. The S light that was reflected on the first pass is converted to P light and is now transmitted. When these beams are finally recombined at the output of the beam splitter, they have comparable intensity but orthogonal polarizations. In order to get an interference pattern, the beams must be coherent and therefore have the same polarization. To correct for this, we have a final quarter wave plate followed by a linear polarizer. As stated, this setup is good for detecting the quality of curved reflective surfaces. It is also possible to use the polarization interferometer to measure the quality of a positive lens by re replacing the sample mirror with a sample lens and placing a second flat mirror behind it. With the quality of optics we had, we were not able to make quantitative measurements. We initially used a clean spherical mirror as our control and then placed some cornstarch on the surface to simulate surface defects. There was some slight distortion of the pattern, but it was not clear enough to measure. With a high precision system, it is possible to observe defects as small as one eighth of a wavelength. To better understand the results from our system, we also tested our spherical mirror in a commercial grade polarization interferometer. The commercial system maintained the same setup as our benchtop model, however, it did so in a much more compact space. The resulting interference pattern has a higher definition and shows clear indication of defects on the surface of the mirror. While not perfect, our benchtop model still provides valuable insight into the quality of our tested optics.